Hi everyone, welcome back. For today's mani, we're going to be playing with brand new colors from 915 Aesthetics, and we're also going to be creating a set of press-ons today on the shape Short Coffin, and we are going to be using dip liquids today from 915 Aesthetics. Then we're going to seal in the mani with a gel top coat at the end, but we're going to start off with Lemon Cello. We're going to give it a good stir, and then we're going to go right in today with a very thin layer of that dip base. Now this yellow right here, Lemon Cello, this right here, it is the perfect, perfect light soft yellow. Now, when you're working with lighter tone yellows or pastel colors, sometimes the yellows can have like this really harsh white flashback to it or look really splotchy or have like this like chalky kind of ness to it. This yellow right here, you can already see with the dip liquids, it has the perfect soft yellow color to it and the coverage is fantastic. I'm just gently pressing everything down here before that dip base dries just to make sure everything is kind of laying super flat. Even if I'm not working with a glitter, I will just go ahead and just press everything down. That really helps reduce any bulk for me. And then I just know everything is just laying super, super flat. But the coverage that you're getting right here with that first coat with Lemon Cello, it is everything. I am always searching for that perfect like soft yellow and this is it this is definitely it just based on the coverage alone and it's like that pure true soft yellow plus these colors right here that 915 aesthetics just released there are six beautiful like pastel colors but there's a twist to them because they're bright they're bold they're beautiful but yet they're still pulling in that soft pastel colors and then there's five glitters as well so if you get this collection you can either pick and choose the colors individually. You could get all the colors, so the six solids and then the five glitters, and then you're pretty much gonna be good to go for spring transitioning into summer because these colors are perfect to get you through summer as well. And you're gonna have tons of different options when it comes to these new colors. So we're gonna go ahead and dust off. And this little brush that I just used is also from 915 Aesthetics. So you're gonna see this color. I mean, it looks beautiful. We have some really amazing coverage with that first coat, but you're really going to see this color come to life even more with that second coat. And this is a really finely milled powder, so you can definitely build it up from two dips like we're doing today. You could do three, you could do four if you're building up apex and structure. Since it's so finely milled, you don't really need to worry about it becoming too, too bulky. As long as you focus on your dip liquid application and making sure that those layers are super thin, but very pretty. I love this yellow. You can see here with that second coat there, it is just like the perfect soft, but yet still has a pop of brightness to it. Beautiful yellow. And I'm just going to go ahead and press everything down here. And then I'm going to show you the difference here of the two dips versus one. So you can really see that different color payoff, but beautiful, not patchy, not streaky at all. And you can really see here that color difference right here with the two dips versus one. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing two dips of each color here. And I, I cannot get over lemon cello. The moment I saw these three colors that we're using today, I knew we had to use them together. They were just like screaming my name and I totally gravitated towards them immediately, especially when I saw that glitter Bella that you're going to see in action in just a little bit. You're going to see how they complement each other so, so well. So we're finishing up with Lemon Cello and we are going to end up playing with even more colors from the new 915 Aesthetics release. The next video for 915 Aesthetics is scheduled for next week, Monday. So definitely make sure you subscribe and hang in there for that next video from 915 Aesthetics because we're going to end up playing with more beautiful colors. So we're just wrapping up Lemon Cello and now we're diving in to Mango and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to give it a good little fluffy stir here. Now mango has a special place in my heart because to me, this color right here, mango, it is, it screams to me the color of summer. There's just something about this family of like pinky coral colors that I gravitate towards. I really like how this is like a softer side of coral, but I love a good bright coral as well. And it could have like that orange undertone to it or a pink undertone in that beautiful coral. But this right here, it is everything and it's just the right amount of coral that I needed to kind of, you know, get my feet wet when it comes to those brighter colors, but so beautiful. And you can see here with that first coat, it is just great coverage. Again, it's still pulling that same beautiful formula of not chalky or patchy or anything like that. 
This dust brush is everything. I love it so much and it's retractable too so you could store it really easily. So that is definitely a plus. So now we're going in with another thin layer of dip base and I am, before I go ahead and stick that brush back in the bottle, I do wipe it off on a piece of paper towel just to make sure that I'm not cross contaminating my dip liquids. I wanna make sure that they last as long as possible. All right, so the second coat, it gets even better. So this is when you get like that more rich pop of color mixed in with there but yet it still carries through that like simplicity of like that lightness coming through but overall so pretty great color and it's not patchy or streaky or anything just overall a beautiful 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 color and the combination of lemon cello and mango together is everything and if you just like love a one color mani this would be great too even with a matte finish so there's another option so the star of the show bella check it out and we're gonna get real up close right here check it out it has yellows it has like that beautiful pink that's kind of pulling the same mango color and it has fine glitters mixed in with some chunky glitter overall it's beautiful it also has like this like white almost kind of like a matte glitter in there as well but yet it has like a little bit of like an ethereal shine to it it's a very unique but yet beautiful glitter and I will tell you right here this is by far one of the easiest easiest glitters I have worked with in a long time and I was so excited about it so I again I'm using dip liquid so I kind of want to work a little bit fast because I don't have like that ease of just like making sure everything is laying flat with the gel method because the dip liquids these are about a medium fast dry time so you could see there we dipped in the cupcake liner I showed you what it looked like but now we are cleaning up the nail by just pressing everything down so we're still able to press everything down make sure everything is laying flat and then i'm just going to go ahead and give it another dip just to make sure we're really absorbing all of that dip base and then i am still going to clean up the sidewalls so the medium fast dry time it's it's great if you are not making a press on and you are dipping into that jar um on your finger or your whatever enhancement you're using you're still going to be able to dip you're going to be able to just gently press everything down clean up that cuticle line you're not going to have any problems but right there i mean the how flat those glitters were laying i was i was very impressed by that so we're going to go ahead and do another accent nail of that beautiful glitter on our ring finger here now i wanted to tie in some more glitter and kind of get more kind of extravagant with this manny but I really like the simplicity behind all of the simple colors because we have that beautiful soft yellow, we have that mango color, and I felt like the glitter really kind of just like enhanced the mani on its own in its like own simple way, if that makes sense, because this glitter kind of tied in all of the colors for me to just give it, it's simple, but yet it still gives it that pop of like beautiful, subtle sparkle, if that makes sense. But I love it so much. So I'm just pressing everything down here, making sure I can get everything as flat, as flat as I can be, because you know me, the less fun and buffing I can do, the better for me. So look at that. Everything is laying so flat. We're going to dust off and we're going to go in with another full dip. So normally when I'm playing glitters like this, I do not want to create like any bulk or anything like that. So what I'll do is I'll just like hand place a whole bunch of glitters, even though that takes time, but then that helps reduce bulk as well. But this one, after I was playing with it and I saw how it performed with that first coat, I felt confident that we were just going to go ahead and dip back into that cupcake liner because of just like how that performed that first go around and everything was laying super flat. So right here, you can see we have even more color shining through on that second dip here. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. Gently press everything down here and really just take your time to make sure everything is laying super flat, especially on those sidewalls in the free edge when you are making press-ons because that's gonna be the first area where you're gonna start bulking up is on those sidewalls right here where I'm cleaning up. You wanna make sure that area is as flat as can be to keep that nail the same shape and just to make sure that we're not creating any extra bulk. I mean, you can always go ahead and reduce any bulk that you may add onto the nail during the filing and buffing, but that is gonna take you a hot minute. But just pressing everything down really just does truly simplify the whole process and it really helps keep the shape of that nail. So the press-ons that I am using, they are from Sundara Nails. They're a soft jelly tip. They're very comfortable and it is in the shape short coffin. I do not trim it. 
I do not, you know, file it any differently. I just pull it right out of the box, put it on the stand, and then we start dipping. So I do not cut it or anything like that. So me pressing everything down really just holds that shape. All right, so back to this glitter here. It is laying so flat. I'm completely, completely blown away by A, the coverage, and how flat it is laying. So you can see the difference here. That second coat, it is just everything. I mean, it doesn't look bad with the first coat. If you wanted like that sheer, like delicate sparkle, you definitely can get away with just that one coat. But that there's just something about when you dip into that second coat, it just totally brings it to life. And I really love how just like the yellow combination with like that mango color, just that combination. And then it has like the white in there. It gives the nail a lot of different dimension. And I really like how it has the fine glitters coming through mixed in. It's like the right amount of fine glitters and the right amount of like larger glitters. And it's just giving the right amount of dimension. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean everything up here. We are almost done with today's very simple mani here, but just pressing everything down. And then we will go ahead and clear encapsulate here in just a little bit. But if you've ever struggled with a chunky glitter, these glitters right here are gonna be your go-to. I mean, they're perfect for summer. They're kind of giving me, when you look at the glitters and the colors in general, it kind of is giving me like ice cream truck kind of vibe. That was like the first thing I, I, when I saw the sneak peek on the Facebook group, that was like the first thing that came to my mind was like ice cream truck. I don't know why, but I think cause it's like a play on the brightness of colors mix in with the pastels but that's where my mind went so we are doing a layer of dip base on the nail and then we're dipping into that clear here and i'm just making sure that that nail is kind of hanging out in that jar kind of just absorbing as much clear as possible i feel like the longer i keep the nail in the better result i have to making sure that all that dip base is completely absorbed and we have a really good foundation of protection on those glitters when it comes to filing and buffing. I will say I am pretty heavy handed when it comes to filing and buffing. So I do like to make sure I have a really good barrier of protection on top of my glitters. So just letting that nail kind of just marinate. I say that all the time, marinate in that clear for a few seconds. I say I leave it in there for about eight seconds or so just really just helps all that dip base kind of absorb and you're going to get a really good even coverage foundation protection when it comes to those beautiful glitters and even though it is a clear dip powder i am still pressing everything down making sure everything is just super super flat especially right there on the sides because i do not want to create any more bulk and then i am dipping back into that clear just as an extra precaution to make sure everything is absorbed and then that is all i did for the clear encapsulation I did not clear encapsulate the solids because I really wanted to test those out during filing and buffing to see how they would perform. And that could have been a gamble, um, but spoiler alert, I did not have any issues when it came to filing and buffing those solids without a clear. So I'm taking a stiff brush here and I am making sure I am really working off that extra clear dip powder before we go in with the activator so we have a really good crystal clean finish. And now we're going in with a generous amount of activator. I am making sure that those nails are completely saturated, especially those glitter nails, because I want to make sure all that activator kind of penetrates through all those glitter layers to really harden. And we're almost to the finish line. We're wrapping up here. We're going to do a little bit of filing and buffing. I'm only going to show you this one nail here on camera, but I'm making sure I'm angling that file directly underneath that press on to make sure that I'm cleaning up any powder that may be on that nail just so we have a really good clean even surface when it comes to applying that press on and i will say this glitter right here was super easy not only was it a great application in itself but it was really awesome to file and buff too it was a breeze to file and buff and i did not have any issues when i was buffing into those salad colors without any clear they stayed true to color they did not um, have like a, a white like dinge to them or anything like that they definitely stayed true to color so i am going to do the rest of the filing and buffing on the rest of the nails off camera just to save some time today and even though i am going to finish up the mani with a layer of gel top coat 
totally optional. You can go in with dip liquids as well. I'm still going to go in with a layer of activator just to seal in all the nails. It's also going to get rid of any of those harsh finely lines. And then to seal in the mani today, I'm going to go in with a layer of gel top coat and then I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds. Now, if you ever experience any flaking or peeling, definitely do your gel base first cure, then go in with your top coat. And then here's the finished mani. It is the right amount of brightness and softness all in one. I will say that glitter that we use, it is so beautiful. It kind of just totally transforms the whole mani for me because it ties in all the colors into one. Also, it's a very subtle glitter. And what I mean by that, it's not like this harsh, blingy, in-your-face, blinding glitter. It's just like a very soft, but yet it still has like the right amount of sparkle. It's just overall such a beautiful glitter. And it just really complements all the colors from the lemon cello and that beautiful mango all in one. I just love it so much. So everything that we did use in today's video can be found in that description box below. I cannot wait to dive into more of these new colors from 915 Aesthetics. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you all in the next one.